I don't know how long I can keep this up for. It's episode three of Number Chums. Due to social distancing requirements, Number Chums was not filmed in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> it is I, Subtractor Julia, and I have developed a most dastardly plan. I've built a number prison. I'm going to catch all those pesky numbers. <laughs> I've seen one of these before. I remember what we need to do. Subtracto is going to try and trap a number inside that number prison. All we need to do is fill that prison in order to break the number free. So we've just got to work out how many more numbers we need to add to make 10. Because that number prison is a 10 frame, isn't it? So let's see what happens next. Oh, hello everyone. Where are my number chums gone? Oh no, I'm being dragged into Subtracto's number prison. Right. Okay, so... Number seven's been caught. We need to fill that. How many empty boxes are there there? There's one, two, three. Okay, three empty boxes. You're gonna help me? We need to make three up here. Are you ready? One, two, three. Phew. Right, you guys, go fill that prison. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so there was seven. Now there's three more. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, it worked. Great job, everyone. <laughs> you filed my plans again. <laughs> Never mind. I'll catch number six instead. Go get it, number prison. <laughs> oh, no, he's caught number six. Right. How many empty squares are there? That's right, there's four empty squares, so we need to make four. Help me count four. One, two, three, four. Phew, right, okay, you guys, go. Okay, so there was six, and now we've got four more. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yes! So number six managed to escape as well, didn't it? Well, I'll catch one of the tiny numbers. Come here, number three. Oh, that looks like an awful lot to count, doesn't it? But we can make it easier for ourselves, because we know that in a ten frame, there's five on the top row and five on the bottom row. So, on that top row, there's two empty spaces. And the bottom row is completely empty, so that's five. So five and two more. Five, six, seven. We need seven. You're going to help me count to seven. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whew. Okay. Get in there, seven. Pardon me. Right, so we have word three in there already. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pardon me. Nine, ten. Yeah. Well done, everyone. Oh. Well, I've got one last chance, and I'm going to catch to number one because without number one, you can't make any of the other numbers. Oh, no. He's right. You know, without one, we couldn't make anything, could we? Because everything's made up out of lots of little ones. Oh. So that should be a ten frame. But only one is in there. So there's all of these empty boxes. Oh, well, that's not too hard because I don't actually have to count them. Because I know 10, and I know one less than 10 is 9. So we're going to need 9 squares. Shall we, shall we get them? Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Whew. Gosh, that was tricky. Right. 9. Go fill that 10 frame. Good job. Well done. Thank you. Wonderful. Excellent. Ah. No! No, that's not right, is it? Oh, I thought it was weird that it was filling them in a the wrong order. But it's not even filled the frame. That's not going to work at all. How many are in that frame? There's one. Then none there. And then one, two, three. 
It's really hard to count that. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven, but it's hard to count because they're not in any logical order. Get away, you nine. Oh, let's try this again. Let's start with a new nine who know what they're doing. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, right, okay. Go on, nine. Fill that number prison. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, they're all in. So there was one already there. So we need to count, count, start counting after one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes! I know you for my plans again, mathematicians. I'll get you. I'll get you one day and all the numbers will be mine. Mine, mine, mine. So let's make our own ten frame today. Here is my 10 frame. Now, when we're filling a 10 frame, one of the problems that we found in number chongs was that if you don't fill it logically, if you don't fill it in a right order, it starts to become trickier. So, always make sure you start at the top left and always make sure you fill the top row before you start the row underneath. So when we want to make three, it should be one, two, three. Ooh. That's not a very good one, is it? And if I made three, well, we did three in there, didn't we? So let's do four, because we're not done four yet. If I did four, how many more would I need to fill this number prison? Well, I've got five left at the bottom, and one more. And one more than five is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can try and find your own facts for making 10 by filling in a 10 frame. So we know now that 4 adds 6 equals 10. Or you could just practice filling in from left to right to make different numbers. You could challenge yourself to see how quickly you can read the numbers. Because if I see this number, I don't count each one individually. I look at it and I think... That top row is five, and one more is six, so that must be six. If I see this number, I don't have to count them. I know that top row would be five, two of them are empty, so what's left is three. 